Hey, what's up Lightroom Mafia? In this video, you're going to learn how to buy Lightroom Classic and the newer cloud-based Lightroom. If you already have Lightroom, you can skip this video and go to the next Lightroom Classic tutorial in this video series. Right now, I'm on the Adobe website for all of its apps and their pricing information. I'm going to go to the photo section because we want to focus in on the Lightroom and Photoshop apps. Regarding buying Lightroom outright and getting a perpetual license, unfortunately, that's not possible anymore. What? The last version of Lightroom which was available for purchase outright with a perpetual license was Lightroom 6 back in 2015. Since then, Lightroom and Photoshop have only been available through a subscription-based model. And unfortunately, Adobe did increase the prices of Lightroom and Photoshop affected January 2015. And you can see the prices here. Some of the prices don't change. For example, this photography plan that included 20 gigabytes of cloud storage, that's no longer available. And they're kind of forcing you to get a annual subscription, especially after winning the 2024 Mac app of the year. Adobe Lightroom won it. Anyways, going to the newer prices, they have the Creative Clouds All Apps plan, which most of you don't need. I personally use it because I do use Adobe Illustrator and Premiere Pro. However, I do pay a lower price because I usually renew my Creative Cloud All Apps subscription during Black Friday. And the plan that you most likely want to get is the Lightroom plan for with one terabyte, which includes Lightroom and Lightroom Classic at $120 a year. Or you can pay monthly and pay $12 a month, which is about $144 a year. Now regarding Photoshop, you may or may not want Photoshop. Personally, I love using Photoshop and the price is at $20 a month or you can get this at discount. If we look at the pricing plan here, we can see the pricing plan includes a 25% discount for the first six months. And then after that, it's about $20 a month. So for 12 months with this month to month plan where you pay monthly, I believe that's around $210 a year. This is it's 90 plus 120. Yeah, so that's 210 a year. Or there's this $240 a year plan, which of course you won't do right now until this promotion is gone. This plan really depends on if you do require Photoshop. But if you haven't used Photoshop or Lightroom before, I just recommend sticking with this Lightroom plan and getting the $120 a year plan. With this plan, it at least includes the one terabyte of cloud storage, which allows you to sync your photos, as well as your presets between Lightroom, Lightroom on iPad, and Lightroom on mobile. One thing I should mention is I don't have the one terabyte of cloud storage because I'm using the Creative Cloud All Apps plan, and that only includes 100 gigabytes of cloud storage. And personally, since I'm dealing with a lot of software and files, including photo files and video files, I use Dropbox to sync all my information. However, it doesn't integrate well with the cloud-based Lightroom or Lightroom Mobile very well. If you're looking to get Lightroom for free, Adobe does periodically offer a 7-day or 30-day free trial. It doesn't look like they're offering it now at the time of this recording, and they're more promoting this Adobe stock and the royalty-free stock images. A better way to get Lightroom for free is to sign up for my photography software giveaway where I give away a one-year license of Lightroom. So make sure to check that out. And if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. And as always, live easy, sleep breezy, and stay lovely.